In this Avidimux tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should be using version 3 for this tutorial so old versions may be slightly different. Okay. The first thing you need to do before doing anything is set up the video output and the audio output. If you don't and you leave this set at copy, you probably won't get very far editing any videos. So, left click on video output copy and decide on the output format that you're going to use. I'm going to go for MPEG-4 AVC-264. And again, do the same on the audio. And I'm going to go for MP3 and on the output decide on a video output so again I'm going to go for MP4 Muxer. You can play around with these um, see what works best for you but for now I'm not going to do anything with the configuration it's just one minute's tutorial too long okay now bringing videos in there's two ways you can either go to the top of the screen and look for the open video tab left click on this and then navigate through your videos or as I prefer to do in a lot of video editors is actually have a file browser open um, and select the videos in the order that you want to edit them in so you could drag them in individually out of order. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to just bring all these in in the numerical order that they're marked in. Obviously you have to wait for them to load up. Okay. And we should have four clips that we're going to try and edit. So, I want to start this video about here. Now normally on a, a lot of video editors you would cut this and you can remove this section. On this video editor, make sure you're right at the very beginning. So drag your marker so it's hard at the beginning. Because I'm going to chop out parts of the beginning of this first clip. Now you can press play or drag these markers along but for now with this timeline marker right at the beginning there's a little button here it says A and it should say set start marker left click on this and then you can either play and stop and I want to cut this first uh, section of video so you should see something's got a B in it. And this should say set end marker. Left click on this. So this is the section I want to remove. So to re remove this, just hold down control followed by X. Now drag your marker along or play your video to the point where you want the first clip to finish. So I want this to finish here. But instead of press it in the end part, what you need to do is again left click on the set start marker and then drag your marker or play your video to the point where you want the next video to start. So let's say we're going to start this video here. Left click on set end marker hold down control followed by X I'm going to drag this along to the point where I want this video to finish and again I'm going to left click on set start marker and I'll come along now to the point where I want the next video to start and in essence I'm actually going to left click on the end marker 
So left click on set end marker and again hold down control followed by X. Let's just make sure this is actually works. So we'll play through this. So that's fine. Now the only trouble with playing this is you don't know where your your start part is. But anyway, we'll come along now to where we want this to end. So we'll end this one here. So left click on set start marker and then come along to the next clip. And this one's another long one, so we'll drag this along to about here, I think. A bit further, that will do. Left click on set end marker, and again hold down control followed by X. Now, finishing at the end um, can be um, a bit fiddly. What I suggest you do is drag your marker all the way almost to the end. Now, although it shows this at the end, it probably won't cut at the end. So just drag your marker back very slightly and then play forward. Okay. And then, because you're at the very end, left click on set end marker, drag your timeline back to the point where you want your video to end. Now this might sound a bit mad and now left click on set start marker and you hopefully should have a section here at the end that you want to remove hold down control followed by X and what you should have now is a video sequence in this instance four videos that have been edited I won't play these because um, I know this works now you need to save this video come to the top of the screen again and look for the save video tab left click on this and you've got some options here you've already set up your file format um, give it a title if you want I don't know call it trains decide where you're gonna save your video so for ease I'm going to dump it on my desktop and just left click on save and what should happen is your video should start encoding I'll come back to this when it's finished encoding once your video is finished encoding hopefully you should have a video that has been edited successfully. Hopefully, that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.